Last question, question 16. This one, it looks like a good one. The whole point of it really is to prove the addition formula, addition formula for sine x plus y here, um, which uh, I always tell my classes isn't usually in exams because it isn't. But if it is an exam, it will kind of talk you through it step by step, which is what it does in this question. Um, it kind of helps you along. Uh, so looking at part one, it says explain why the length of CD can be written as A cos Y. So we're just looking at this triangle here because we're only interested in, cos, in, in the Y angle. Uh, so if we look at this triangle here, you can see that this is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent, and so if we have um, cos y, it's going to equal the adjacent over the hypotenuse, uh, so that is cd over a. And so A cos Y is going to equal CD, which is what we're asked to show in question in question one. Um, and then question two, it says show the area of triangle ADC is a half AB sine X cos Y. Um, so if you just look at this, the area of ADC, so this time we use in the other triangle. Um, so the smaller triangle, um, A, D, C up here. And we, we've just, we've just been, we just worked out that that height there, the length of CD is A cos Y. Uh, so if we use that green triangle then, uh, let's do this over here. Uh, the area of any triangle, you can say, is is a half a b sine c. General formula there, and in this case, it's a half of uh, this, which is a cos y times by b, so we, that is just b, and times that by sine c, which is x in this question. Um, so if we tidy that up a bit, we'll just write it down like this, a, b, uh, let's do it the same order as the question says. So sine x cos y uh, i think that's all you have to do only one mark for those so <clears throat> these are both both of those two questions are really leading up to this next bit which is to show that sine x plus y equals that um so for that part of the question you need to use the great big triangle so it's x plus y so if we look at this big triangle here um, for part three, the area of the big triangle, ACB, again, that's going to equal a half AB sine C, or in this question, a half AB sine X plus Y, because that would be X plus Y. Um, and that, the area of that big triangle is going to equal the area of the two small triangles, triangle one, triangle two added together, isn't it? Um, so let's find the area of those two small, tr smaller triangles, and then we can just put it equal to what we found here. Um, so the area of ACB area ACB, the big triangle, equals the area of ADC, which we just found up above, plus the area of uh, the other triangle, let's call it DCB. Um, so the area of ACB 
is is this uh let's write that down down here so we've got a half a b sine x plus y equals the area of adc we just did that up here didn't we so that equals that a half a b sine x cos y and the area of dcb so the area of dcb well again you can use the same formula um half a b sine c but let's let's just remember that this the length of uh, cd we know that is a cos y don't we so when we're looking at triangle two here we can see the area of that is a half of this times this sine of y so that would be a half a times a a squared um so cos y so i'm just times in this by this together and then we've still got sine y left Uh, so all of these, all three of these, are just from doing a half a b sine c, the area of a triangle. All right, now you can see all the halves are going to cancel, so get rid of all the halves. Uh, you can see the a's are going to cancel, and so we'll be left with just one a there. And it's already looking a lot like... Uh, the formula, the addition formula for sine, but that is a bit of a pain because that's that's cos y. It's not it's not sine x. So let's sort that out. So what have we got here anyway? Um, well, we've got on the left hand side we've got this, which is b sine x plus y equals b sine x cos y plus a cos y sine y now you can see that the we we need to get rid of this b from both sides so let's just do that so that'd be sine x plus y equals the b's cancel there so sine x cos y so that's looking fine um but now we've got a cos y over b times this sine y Let's just put that in a bracket. So that thing in the bracket is the, is the problem. We need to show that that equals sine x. Well, does it equal sine x? Let's just have a look up here. Well, if we go to this triangle, highlighted one here, if you look at this, if we do sine of x, it equals the... Um, Sorry, this shouldn't equal sine x. It should equal cos x. Um, so if we look at this triangle here, cos x is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is a cos y over b. So that's excellent news. So cos x does equal this. So that means all of this can be replaced by cos x. And then we're finished. Okay, so this is a really nice way of proving the addition formula for sine x plus y, sine x cos y plus, and that's cos x sine y. So that's that finished now. Um, now the last bit, um, the last bit, part B, you can be pretty sure you're going to have to use the addition formula at some point here um so we we're given that sine 30 plus alpha equals cos 45 minus alpha uh so let's do the addition formula above so use that for sine 30 plus alpha we'll get sine 30 cos alpha plus cos 30 sine alpha.
transfer. On the right hand side, if we do the addition formula for cos, it's negative here, so we're going to get a plus when we do this. It's in the formula book though, cos 45, cos alpha plus sine 45, sine alpha. Now just whack everything on your calculator if you don't know what these are off by heart. Hopefully you already know that sine 30 is a half, but use your calculator if not. We're in degrees here. Okay, there's a degree symbol. Cos 30 is uh, root three over two. And cos 45 is root two over two. And so is sine 45. Okay, let's collect all the, um, oh, let's multiply everything by two first. So get rid of all the fractions. So we've got cos alpha plus root three, sine alpha, root two, cos alpha, plus root two, sine alpha. Um, let's get all the signs on the left-hand side. So we've got root three, sine alpha, minus root two, sine alpha because root two cos alpha minus cos alpha. Factorize root three minus root two, uh, root two minus one. Now we've got to get tan here, uh, so we're gonna need to divide both sides by this cos. So let's, let's div divide the cos over to there and move that over to that side. So then we get tan alpha is root two minus one over root three minus root two. So that is, should be fine, except we need to rationalize the denominator now, because if you look at where we need to end up in the question, there are no, there is no fraction there. So we need to rationalize the denominator. It's a show that question. So really you should be showing all steps of working out here showing how you do rationalize this denominator. There's five marks for it, so quite a lot of marks. And when you multiply the top by root three plus root two, um, that's gonna give you root six plus two minus root two minus root three. And then the denominator is gonna give you root three times root three is three, root two times root two is two. And so you're dividing by one there, so you can just write it out like it says to in the question. And finished, finished.